Good morning. It's the end of the week and I have come to the end of the book of Micah. And while I was ending it, I came across a verse that sparked a memory in my life that I will forever be grateful for. Let's read Micah 7, 8. Do not rejoice over me, my enemy. Though I have fallen, I will stand up. Though I sit in darkness, the Lord will be my light. August of 1998, I gave my whole heart to Jesus. I look back and wonder if my big brother, Dennis James, hadn't been obedient to the Lord to invite me into his home to visit with him and his family for a couple of weeks, where would I be today? In that moment, I wasn't making the best choices. I had dropped out of college and I was, well, I was lost. But I hadn't fallen so far that the Lord couldn't stand me back up. And when I fully surrendered, lifting my hands to him, I never put them down, spiritually speaking. Actually, if you attend church with me, you know I don't put them down worshipfully either. And Luke 7:47 says, in the message version, says, she was forgiven many, many sins. And so she is very, very grateful. Now that moment 25 years ago, this month actually, didn't make me perfect. It didn't take away all of life's ups and downs and it didn't erase PMS. But what it did do was fill me with an assurance that when those imperfect moments come, I can reach up to Jesus, my hope and stay. And he will reach under my lifted arms like a daddy to his child and pick me back up again and again. If you think you've fallen too far, you haven't. He is just waiting and ready to stand you back up again. Let him be the lifter of your head today and have the best weekend.